<sighs> Please don't spam my channel. I guess it was Bert Toast that threatened to keep the boys away from me. Mm. All right. Okay. Let's see if it works. Sad. But folks, here at Minus Touch, we are cruising toward one million subscribers, okay? Well, so I want you to click that like button, share with your friends, let them know where we're at, and have them click that like <laughs> button because we want to hit a million. And uh, I have a real good time making these videos here on Minus Touch. I hope you guys enjoy Whatever. listening. Whatever. So That's her karma. Brando. And as always, if you keep tuning in, I'll keep telling you the truth. Midas Touch is unapologetically pro-democracy. And look, we know you- Honey, you might want to come into the chat right now. Why? Because we have a uh, minor celebrity in the chat right now by the name of Brett Kane. Oh. Brett Kane is in the chat, everyone. Hi. Everyone say hi to Brett. What's up, Brett? How you doing? I'm just doing some crunches. I know you're doing crunches. Done He's doing his exercises. Why is this so bright? One minute. Let me let me fix this. The camera. It's nuts. There we go. That's better. My criticisms come from a place of love and not to hurt people. There lies the difference. Additionally, my life is so blessed that it's hard to hate. And being loved by God enables me to love others. Amen, Melly. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Would I be interested in coming on your show sometime? Yours, Brett? What did Co Ke Ke where's Jason? He's 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 exercising. I don't I didn't see anything about Kent Hoven, but you know. Hmm. What do you guys think? You think I should go on Brett's channel for old times' sake? Yeah, why not? I'll go on your channel, Brett. <laughs> That's cool by me, dude. You're a YouTube legend. <laughs> Yeah, who's Brett Kane? The one who started YouTube atheism. I want you and Jason in my show. I know it'll give you really good views, wouldn't it, Brett? Do I trust him, Brett? Brett Kane is Brett Kane. That's all I have to say. You think I should go on Draven's channel? All right. How have we been? Ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. Um, you know, my health hasn't been very good, Brett. The family's wonderful. And Jason's doing good. <laughs> He's just sick of G-Man. I'll think about it, Sandra, going on Draven's channel. We did once. We did once. Is Brett religious guy? I... Th <laughs> um... He's a God believer. He's a God believer. <laughs> you vote for Draven's channel also? Okay, but if he brings... Like, I, I have some stipulations for it, so... I'm going to have to give them to Draven. I, I have to give stipulations because they're just, I have to protect myself. You know what I mean? But I'll think about it. You're welcome. My baby. I like you. I like you too, Becky. You're hot. You're cute. I gotta take my GABA. Yep. How should you contact me? That'd be a good way for Brett to contact. I have no idea what you could, My email? I guess. I don't know. We'll yeah. figure it out. There's ways. Go to, go to, I know. Go to Shanny Needs Love. 
on Twitter and get a hold of me on Twitter. That'll work. Get a hold of me on Twitter or Facebook even. We're Facebook friends, right? Hi, Eileen. Thank you. People have become so judgmental and want to see people punished for their failings. They have become merciless, it seems, and really self-righteous. Yeah, I agree. What, Draven would donate $150 or more to... Well, he's going to have to pay me first for that. You know? Like I, I, I told him, drop the cash. Have we had dinner yet? No. Yeah, we got to work on that. <laughs> but, uh... Boy, I've been on for six, almost seven hours. <laughs> All right, Brett. Peace, man. Wait, wait. Aha. Peace, peace. Well, pay me first. Pay me $150 and then we're on. But that's my stipulations to him, man. And I just want to talk to him. No one can join. Just him. Just one-on-one. -on -one. That's what I do. Is one-on-one -on -one with people. I don't like being in a room with a bunch of people because they always talk over each other. And it gets really stupid sounding after that. Yeah, that's true. And it really looks stupid on camera, so it's like, I'd rather talk one-on-one. -on -one. It's a little bit more like, relaxed atmosphere. Way better, yeah. Yeah, too much stress for me. I can't take that shit. Like, straightforward. Do I see the difference between the people who troll you and the people who actually want to hurt you? Yeah, I do. I do see the difference. Sabella, shut up. Brenny's the only snake coming around here, I see. You're so judgmental, Sabella. Jesus is going to call you a snake someday. Oh, I know he makes nice. At least I'm honest. You don't want to protect me, Savala. Yeah, I hate big panels too. Much talking over each other to get a point across. Yeah, exactly. No, that's why I'm talking to you, Shanny for Life, because I've seen a couple of your videos, and they're funny. They're funny. So I get it, you know? And, and thank you for, like, you know, making certain things funny. Well, I'm talking to the folks. I can't just keep watching things, Brian. I want to talk to my audience. It's chill time. You're welcome. Okay, I will pray for wisdom for you, Shani, that you will make the right decision. Melly, I am well aware. I, I've known Brett for almost 20 years. I am well aware of who he is. Very much. They are funny. It's good to approach life with humor, yeah.
Like, that says a lot. I've known Brett for almost 20 years, so, like, I know who he is. But I figure go on his show for old time's sake and, like, shoot the shit and, like, see how each other are and just get to know each other a little bit more, you know? Like, there is a lot of likable things about Brett King, man. There are. You know? And he's not as evil as everyone tries to make him out to be. Yeah, he can do some low-down shit, but at the same time, I, I realize it's because he's guarded. And he should be guarded, because if you actually knew who, like, how his life was in his younger years, you could kind of understand why he is the way he is. You know? So, like, I, I love him in a lot of ways. Because I've known him so long. You know? I see one parody of foodie cartoons, and they always make her too, more fatter than what she is, and they put, like, all these, gr make her grosser looking than what she looks like, and it's just, it's, I don't like them. I don't find that funny. I find it shameful, in fact, that they do that to her. And I see them doing that to me now, and I'm like, I'm so pretty. Don't, don't try to make me look ugly, because I am pretty. It's just right now, I'm not doing good health-wise. So I'm not going to look very good. So why are you judging someone who's like sick about how they look? Christina, I've had good and bad conversations with him, but I would go back and visit Brett. Yeah, exactly, Christina. Really? Wow. Yeah, exactly. Brett King's Brett King. Simple as that, you know? He's who he is. And really, I accept him for who he is. And, you know, I respect him as a content creator. And if you ever go back, look up Brett Kane, um, prank calls, churches. It's hilarious how he does it. That was some good stuff back in the day. <laughs> you know, he was an atheist and then he became a God believer and... Yeah, you've never heard of Brett? Oh. Brett Kane is, um, a legend. And, like, one of the first YouTube content creators. I, I love your high school picture, Blake Hugh. I could definitely see the goth girl there. Yeah. My mom just, she thought I was gonna, like, shoot up a school or something. <laughs> And I'm like, I just look at her like, what? <laughs> Munchausen syndrome, what can you say? Uh. Hey, you're talking to this little vegetarian girl who wouldn't even kill a butterfly right. or a spider. Or anything that I would shoot up a school like uh, honestly mom you don't know my nature and you think I'm evil for some freaking reason yeah that's much in housing for that she was undiagnosed <laughs> undiagnosed Munchausen by proxy I had to sneak my goth clothes to school back in the 80s oh my god <laughs> That sucks so bad that we had to hide that look from our parents when it's not that bad. Like if In my school, uh, if you were wearing, like, a Marilyn Manson shirt with, like, Manson looking like weird crucified Jesus or whatever, or Rob Zombie shirts, certain Rob Zombie shirts, uh, they made you go in the bathroom and turn them inside out. Yeah. Nah, Melly, Brett's, Brett's fine. He's fine. He's not as dangerous as everyone tries to make him out to be. I thought we weren't associating with certain individuals because they're hooked up with Von Helton who hit on her son. Yeah, but Brett Kane is... I have to, okay? It's just like... It's a respect thing. Okay? You don't understand. <laughs> I don't want to go on there. I'm not going to go on there. Either. 
you, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't. Me and Brett's me and Brett's relationship goes way before you, so that's true. <laughs> I made my daughter's goth clothes and we shared gothic beauty magazines. Oh, I love that. Oh my god, I would love my own goth clothes so much. Oh. You didn't buy them when you could, so. I know, and I, I don't regret think it. Really into it much, maybe. Not at that time. No, I no. I regret it now. How much is a large pizza where where I'm at, baby? You want to look that up? He's looking it up. A large pizza from where? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't even care if it's Domino's. Ex-CIA chief guesses China's message with suspected spy balloon. <gasps> oh. We have to see that. That is must. All right. Have fun, Christina. Things we would have been disowned for seem to be just fine now. Lucky kids these days. Yeah, because we knew it wasn't as bad as they tried to make it seem. They did the same thing with the hippie movement. No, the foodie guy didn't contact me. Who? Foodie Beauty's feeder dude. Let's bring in Leon Panetta, former defense secretary. So yeah. Like we black clothing and music. I know, right? It just like black lights. Let's not forget that. <laughs> black lights, lava lamps. Yeah, hair piercings, haircuts. I know, right? Even tattoos now aren't as like banned as they used to be. Not, it's almost nothing. Yeah. I can get your address banned from every local pizza place. I will order pizza from every place with cash on delivery. Okay, Steven. Well, I'm 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 going to uh, report you for making a threat. And there you go. So the answer to your question is, uh... Sandra said, if I send $50, that's 33 50 is for two pizzas and a drink, can I order it and eat it and, and eat it online? Yeah, I'll do that, Sandra. I'll eat that stuff. I'm hungry. I'll do it. Okay. Well, one, one large pizza would be 20 bucks. One large pizza is 20 Yeah. Okay. Is there a deal? With like the, the, the fees and stuff. Is there a deal though? I might be able to find like something. Yeah. I will do it. That's not the first threat he made. I know. I don't know why they're doing that. It's nuts. Cool. You know, these pizza places could get the cops involved and then you'd get in trouble for that stupid stuff. Because you're literally stealing from places. So, like, good luck with your stupid life. I want to die of coke so bad. <laughs> Hi, Dr. H. D.O. Huh? It's Leon Panetta. What's Leon Panetta? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. I was like. I was like. What? I wanted. A, I wanted two liters so so bad. Get one. I want one bad. 
Oh my god, do you want a two liter chi- cherry coke or a Fanta? They have Fanta dude, like Ooh, Fanta. 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 Fanta Fanta. Don't you want to? People just being shitty here. Let me block your favorite food. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? You're gonna block our pizza? Jesus. <laughs> Are you serious? He was threatening sending people to your place the same way they did Cyrex. Oh, okay. I'm not going to freak out over that because I think that's really stupid because you can't can really get badly in trouble with the law over that. Now you can. Yeah, that's really stupid to do. They're on to all of that. Yeah, and, and the cops know us. They know, enough, yeah, so. they know us. Totally yeah. Here. yeah. I'll take Delta. Anyway. Guy, <laughs> director. Under President Obama, spent some time as chief of staff, just about everything I think that's here in Washington. He's always, uh, always I love great that when he comes on with us. Uh, Leon, thanks like so much that? for being on Have you ever tried it? We appreciate it. Um, oh, so good. Let me ask you this. You know, congressional source tells us that there will be a, a like briefing meat, for the so called like gang of eight lawmakers, yeah, uh, the top leaders in both chambers. It just gives you more nutrients. Uh, and the key intelligence committee members, as you know. Uh, the Navy like is in the process of recovering the spy balloon surveillance equipment. What do you think they're, they're going to find? Uh, do you think they'll find you want an much that's useful? Answer. They're asking for the cash app. Can you put that in there? Well, that's a, that's a very important briefing uh, that ought to I'll be provided uh, to sure. our congressional leaders, uh, particularly if uh, it's confirmed that uh, this balloon had the capability to pick up sensitive information uh, and was an intelligence gathering uh, mission, was on an intelligence gathering mission. And secondly, whether it was maneuverable. I think those are the key points. Uh, if it is a spy balloon, if it's maneuverable, uh, then clearly invading uh, U.S. airspace was of concern, and I think the president made the right decision to shoot it down. So there's an awful lot of information we need to know uh, in order to confirm our worst suspicions. And you've been in the position of... <clears throat> Hi, Autumn. You had a good day at work. Thank you. Shani, did you get my PayPal? Can you check my PayPal, baby? Uh, no. Baby, you're a beautiful man. Okay. I love you. I love you, too. You're like a butterfly. I'm like a butterfly. You're I'm like a way. butterfly. I'm like a bird. I want to play. Best pizza ever was from Seattle's Best Pizza. Tomato basil. It's delicious, but downtown Pioneer Square, and they went out of business. I was, ah. So many good Italian pizza places and Italian, like, specialty stores have been closed down because of COVID. It's awful. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Mary Jane. Oh, thank you. Bless. Wow, God bless you. Yay, we get to have a pizza time. This is for your food. Store. Thank you, Sandra. Pizza, pizza goes. We're gonna get a pizza goes. Oh, yeah, I still got to take my GABA. I can feel the pain coming on. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, he's so sorry. (laughs) Medication time. That's right. (laughs) And a soft drink. That's right. Yeah. You you get a two-liter... Fanta orange, man. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Probably Fanta, Fanta. Don't, don't you want that? <laughs> You're cute. Pizza is my favorite food of all time, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I definitely think that's the case. I'm addicted to Dr. Pepper and pizza. That's, that's true. And I just smoke out of habit, not out of addiction, but just because it's something to do. I'm a social smoker. <laughs> People are going to be like, yeah, right. I bet you can't quit. I bet I can. You do quit. Yeah, I've seen it already. You have no problem quitting. I just took all my hate meds. <laughs> oh, bless. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tracy. 
Like, how is that, like, on a G-tube and not being able to eat? Like, how is that? Like, do you get used to it? Or, like, is it, like, a morning process? Because, like... <sighs> Have you made pizza at home? Oh, yeah. Plenty of times. You want the pizza pizza? Sure. Okay, then. Brooklyn crust? That's the best one, the Brooklyn crust, dude. I think. Yeah, I'll take the Brooklyn. Brooklyn, okay. I'll take the Brooklyn. Sweet. All right. My brother and sister are social smokers too. They never smoke at home. I do smoke do at home. Do you want but... enhance the flavor? You want bacon? No. <laughs> no bacon. No. Okay. Don't forget to consider coming on Draven's stream. Yeah. All right. Get gourmet veg with feta. Also a delicious one. Uh, you, I think you want meat. I need meat. Yeah, you want meat, baby girl. Meat. Yeah, that's going to do it. That's it. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tracy. Yeah, why not go on Draven's? He's asking enough. Screw it. What's the worst that's going to happen? They bring up the past that I've already dealt with and it, and, and coped with and, and healed from. That's okay. All meat, no carrots. No, it's meat, but it has tomato. That's a veggie. And Michelle Obama says that pizza is a vegetable, and I agree with her. Oh. <laughs> this is boring. I don't care. I want to look at something on aliens. Hey, folks, I'm Tennessee Brando. I want aliens. Um. Give me something on aliens. What? I gotta reset my password for this app for some reason. <laughs> the Disturbing Truth of Mookbane, a documentary. Oh no, it's a bunch of food shaming and fat shaming. And this is so unhealthy. And it's like, dude, they know. They do it for the views. I can't drink water. The only thing I can drink is Coke. Yeah. Water's hard for me to consume too. I don't know why. Paranormal Scholars Channel. Okay. Paranormal Scholars Channel. Paranormal Dollars Channel. No. Paranormal, Paranormal Dollars. Jason. <sighs> Paranormal. Fuck, what was it called again? Oh. Paranormal Scholars Channel. Paranormal Scholar, is that it? Oh, this is cool. The Goat Man of Demon Hill, a true monstrous encounter in rural England. Bro. Oh, I've seen something from them. Oh, this woman. The woman who talks about stuff. She talks really low, though. I've seen this woman. Let me do this. UFO stories. There. Can't do history. Travis Walton tells his story of alien abduction. 
Whoa, his studio looks like freaking Star Trek. Bro. Oh, thank you. On the way. <clears throat> thank you, my love. Yes, I do. You are a handsome boy. Mm -hmm. You're my voice. Mm -hmm. Oh, foot. I can't wait for my soda. Yum. Foot. Has anyone seen the movie Nope? It's pretty good. Yeah, Nope is awesome. It was pretty good, yeah. Mm -hmm. I liked it. Are we going to be on all night? I don't know. Maybe. A, a lot of the night, Some I guess. Of the night. <laughs> yeah. He has an exclusive interview with an awesome UFO sighting. We are. Which one? Let me see. We are all vultures. Paranormal scholar. Yeah. You finally got the baby down for the night. Oh, bless. How old is your little one? If you don't want to tell me, that's okay. I just, I miss that, that little baby having the baby on your chest and feeling their love. Oh, oh, the closest I get to that is Gavin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's almost three, but oh, baby. God, I would love to hold a baby. It's been so long since I've held a baby, smelled that sweet little scent of a baby. Feel how soft their beautiful skin is. Oh! I love babies. I miss having a baby. Why can't why can't your kids just stay babies forever? I'd be fine with that. <laughs> you could never leave me. No, that's creepy. <laughs> Same. I'm not maternal like that. I have no desire to have a baby, but I do foster cats. The real UFO sightings. My babies are 41 and 37. Oh, good God. My babies are 14 and 16. We're going on it. Just a couple months. PBS. Like, come on, can I look at little things, man? Someone give me a good UFO story that won't give me a copyright strike. Creepiest guy I've ever seen. Okay, I'll see that. Who's the creepiest guy you've ever seen? If I was to ever do a tier list of creepy guys on the internet, the guy I'm about to show you would be the undeniable top tier triple S super smoking style creep god. The individual you're about to see almost makes that guy that was sending pig carcasses to the coworker he loved seem sane. I know I've called- Wait, someone was sending pig carcasses to someone? Well, let me ask you a question. Why is it okay for you to play this penguin guy who has 12 million subscribers? I think it's because his stuff is cut up. I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't either, dude. I We just have to figure this system out, I guess. We're watching videos, and I think that's okay. But maybe it's not. I don't know. We were. It was okay on Twitch. It was. I see Hasanabi do it all the time. On Twitch. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. 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 Yeah, who cares? I'm stopping it a lot. Mm-hmm. We're getting in other conversations at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's true. Called one other person in a video the creepiest guy ever. 
But the man I'm about to show you today, I think is far more disturbed. So much so that I'm actually somewhat concerned for the safety of the people around him. What? I'm sure you've seen this video floating around right now because it's going viral and for good reason. It is scary. The Cracker Barrel? Cracker Barrel? That'd be a police officer right there. I love Cracker Barrel. I miss it. Oh, I miss Cracker Barrel. I love Cracker that Barrel fish. sounds so stinking good. It's in Wolf's Bear, so we wouldn't have been able to, you know. We can't get it. I way. love me some Cracker Barrel, man. I miss it so much. Mm mm mm. Our order is in the oven. His name is Guy. What a boy! Have I ever watched Paul? Yes, I love Paul. I, I introduced Jason to Paul, actually. The movie? Yeah. It's yeah. Great. great. I love Seth Rogen. Yeah, this guy's creepy creep. Okay. One of these days, you're just finally will say that you don't like Seth Rogen anymore, because you're going to find out. Yeah. And I was going to play a song for a woman that I kind of like, and uh, I got there, and she saw me, and she immediately pulled away, and... Uh, I, oh, I shit, it. another cop came. You don't want to see that. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, he, he's ready, too, man. Look at them, where their hands are placed. It's like... You don't want to see that. You better not run, dude. You better not run. Oh, my God. Pentrix UFO Paranormal Scholar. All right, let me get that down right there. I'll do that next after this. I don't mind the paranormal scholar. It's just she talks so low that it, it's like one of those things you watch right before you go to bed to put you to sleep. Jesus. I like how she dresses like almost like Victorian almost. That's fine, but she's very dull. She doesn't cut enough. Yeah. That... And, and her dialogue's too long, and it's like, I'm going to go to sleep with this chick. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't like her. Not a fan. She's interviewing? Oh, she's interviewing someone. All right, well, that'll keep me up then. I guess. I ordered a Mitza. Mm-hmm. Or li to listen or anything, you know, I just wanted to play the song for her. You know, give her her own choice yeah. if she wanted to be with me. Yeah. Now, I'll quickly bring you up to speed on what's happening right now with the lore. So, the cops are there the because lore? the guy called them, I believe. So, he's a Kaioken times Thank 10 you, weirdo. by the way. He so called much. the cops because he wanted to report this girl's dad. Yes. A girl God that he you. chased around while playing mm. his music to try and win her love. And his music is downright horrifying. Sure? It sounds like five trash oh, cans being that. violently slammed together while Baby, someone is getting murdered in an one. alleyway for the vocals. Wait. I have been so deep way. in this rabbit hole I learning about this man. It's been like an episode of Mike Rowe's Dirty Jobs just gathering all this information. I'm going to play it. you just a quick snippet from one of his tracks. It's not fire, it's not Jesus Christ! It sounds like Sam's music. God! What the fuck? Oh my God. Yeah, we got some drinks. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra, you're amazing. Thank you. Hi, watermelon baby girls. You literally fed and and gave drink. That's that's very like God loves you. Thank you so much. Thank I'm you. so happy about it. <laughs> like pizza. Yeah, you're happy girls. Shani loves her pizza. Shani loves pizza. That's another channel. That's your mukbang channel if you ever make one. Guys, began quality check in your order. So Yay. You made this channel. You're going to have it in like 10 minutes, probably. What the hell was that? No wonder she was running away. I know, right? Holy shit! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, hi, no justice, no peace. Rip my ears. Okay. Yeah, that was insane. Skip that. There. Jeez, okay, man. That was, ah. Uh, no. The voice of an angel. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's so romantic. It's so Voice of an angel, a fallen angel, maybe. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> That's like black metal vocals. They don't even care. They don't care at all. What is that? It's, it's black metal. 
It sounds so stupid. And the drums are off beat. And it's oh, so bad. It's so bad. How do people listen to that and not get a headache? They're into it. Ugh. The face just, paint, everything. Ugh. They're just into it. There is good, there is good black metal, okay? There there are good bands. <laughs> straight out of a Disney film. He also keeps saying he was giving her a choice to listen to his music and fall in love with him. Even though there's no choice no. here. Wait, he sent that to a girl no. and thought she would be impressed by that? No. <laughs> no, no, dude, no, no. That's like you you play that for your girl and you're like, no, honey, this is what I do on the weekend. <laughs> like, I did this on the weekend. It's one take. Okay, listen to this. Yeah. Not this is what I do for, oh, my God. No. Oh. Well, you saw my re reaction. It was automatically like, Jesus, what the hell was that? That's so bad. <laughs> There's people that love that type of song. Yeah, we have seen Donner Cat. Oh, my God. All right. He was stalking her and chasing her, playing this over his fucking boombox, I guess. What? But anyway, uh, she was <laughs> so fr... <laughs> He has his boom up. <laughs> and then he tries to send her a butchered pig. He's mental, man. Oh my god! He's mental. Wow. Frightened that she ended up calling her dad, and her dad got in contact with him and said some mean things to him. So the guy then called the cops on the dad, hoping to like get him arrested or file something against him. You know? Does she know you? Yeah, I worked with her there. Does she for, know you? Like, Five, six months. That's a nice cop. Does she know you? We were talking a little bit, but it never really got serious. Like, excuse me. Does she know you? <laughs> well, yeah, I've been stalking her, and I thought she was pretty, man. I've been ghosting her with my boombox with my awesome music. You want to hear it? No, sir. We don't need to hear it. It's fine, okay? That's a sound weapon you got there. Ooh, the driver's on its way. It oh, amazing. Be here, like, in the next... Yeah. It's right down the road, dude. I know. We get the freshest dominoes, Shani, because it's literally like ten I, minutes down I the know. road. It's awesome. How do you woo Shani Rev? Uh I could just do a little thing like that or I could just tickle her on her neck a little bit and make her feel good. <gasps> make her feel good and sexy talk her. She likes that. Yeah. I know how to get you. I can You're cute. I can woo my girls. Rub but it. anyways. You like I pulled up movies? there, and I was in the other parking lot, and I saw her get in her car, and I, saw, I was like, oh, shoot. So I, moment, so I pulled up there next to her, and she pulled away from me, and uh, so I chased her a little bit, just because, I, mean, I don't know, women are... Did you really admit to the cops that you chased her? <laughs> I chased her a little bit. I kind of... Yeah. yeah, guys. You know, I, I saw her going in the car, and I decided to chase her, man. This is where he should start going with, guys, dude, you saw her. She's hot, man. Wouldn't you do the same thing? I like her, man. I like her a lot. Oh my god. She's hot, man. I can't help it. Alright? Tesla used that guy's music to shake a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I believe that, yeah. You made pulled chicken sandwiches? Oh, that's oh petty. Mm, that's uh, uh, yeah. Uh, pulled chicken, uh, dude. Oh, uh, uh, chicken barbecue sandwiches. Yum! Don't you love that? Chicken barbecue sandwiches. <laughs> Jenny, like the pulled apart chicken. What? Chicken barbecue sandwich is a pulled apart chicken. Oh, Isn't that great? Yeah. We need there. to go to North Carolina. You need to try some barbecue. The they, southern barbecue. Well, they, the pulled pork. They put vinegar in their shit, right? I love yes. That. Yeah, I love that taste. You're going to love it. Yeah. I, Everyone wants pizza now. It's so weird. The bar right down here. Every time I walk by it, they got a big... It's less than one minute away. It's... Yeah, he's see. here. He's here. Yeah. Pretty, yeah, he's here. Okay. Well. Oh, he's already here. <laughs> he's driving right up. <coughs> That's awesome. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> Man, I was like trying to chase this girl. A doobie, doobie doo, doobie doobie doo, doobie doobie doo. Everyone else wants pizza. I want Shanny. Oh my. Oh my.
I'm flattered. But Autumn did say I'm taken. <laughs> but I'm flattered, Peanut. Hell yeah, all you need is a crock pot, chicken, a pack of McCormick powder for the slow cooker, add some brown sugar, oh some ketchup, God. and some cider vinegar. Like Let it cook like, all day. Like angry video game nerd, dude. Did he? He's in. What a nice kid. Really nice. There's your fall. Ah. Enjoy. Yum. And poison. Foot. Oh my god, a two liter foot. I've never seen a two liter Fanta. Yeah. I've never seen that in my life. That's cool. Oh, Fanta. 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 You're going to have to take the X faces off, aren't you? No. You have to do them up. First. I'm not going to take the X faces off. Just for the taste of it. Diet Trump. It's 100 subscribers, man. Diet Trump. This is... This is to just think about going on Draven's. Yeah. I'd do it. Fuck it. I don't know what's wrong with you, man. Yeah. You're a glutton for punishment. Or I something. probably am. I think you are, actually. Am I blushing behind the pit, pit picture? Maybe. <laughs> they know how to talk to me. Well. You're my Betty. I love you, baby. I love you. <laughs> Always makes enough for a few for a few days. There's three of us. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Look at that, folks. Look how beautiful that pizza is. Ah, it's a little too hot for my taste. I gotta get it cooled off. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for diet coke. Are you sure you don't want a beautiful? No, slice? I'm good, honey. Seriously. What? Okay. I, I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I don't eat. I eat make the mac and cheese, the leftover mac and cheese. Yeah. I eat all of that. Well, if you want bit. some later, I got to I gotta let it cool. Thank you. I'm cool. You know me. I'm cool. I could come up to be a mediator if you need it. I wouldn't mind. No, it's fine. I can handle him on my own. A mediator? Yeah, I don't need a mediator. For what? Oh, Draven. No, I don't need a mediator with him. Well, you might die of boredom, honey. I'll but live. Anyway, anyway, I'm patient. Are you going to get paid? No pizza cookie fight. No. You're going to get paid? It was me, not Jesus. All right, Sandra. Fine. Yeah, that's cool. If the, I've heard people say that before. I want to make air fry recipes. You have to understand, Sandra, a lot of people don't want to be known. Yeah. If they give anything. That's true. Let's see what else. Oh, well, we don't take offense to the Jesus thing. We thank Jesus for the air we breathe. Like we thank Jesus for everything because that's where we're at. If you don't like that, then that's cool. I understand that. Yeah, but thank you, Sandra. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I just believe that Jesus put it on your heart. Oh, it's so to good. help us. Oh, oh, you're a happy rev. What is it about this shit? I don't know what it is. Hasanabi's the same. He he drinks Diet Coke all the time. You want to try the Fanta? I'd like a little. Oh, it's cold, too. <laughs> that stuff is an elixir of... Oh. It's probably giving me heartburn. I don't think so. It's got yellow number six in it and red number 40. Cancer. <laughs> it doesn't matter it anymore. It tastes so good. That's some good cancer. I know. That's some good cancer. <laughs> Made from the Coca-Cola company. Mm. I don't even know if they do that commercial anyway. More the Fanta Fanta. Uh, they do, but it's not as... It's not like we remember it. It's a little bit more broken up and <laughs> manic and stupid from what I remember. All right. You want to see how stupid this dude is? He. Well, I can't wait to see when he butchers a pig and sends it to her. That's insane. Kind of crazy. Like I felt like she like wanted me, Chase. You, you felt like she wanted you. You know, so I that just... means God damn. Your feelings are not facts. Your feelings are not facts, dude. But, okay. Your feelings are not facts. If and you think, if you think she's into you, you go, hey. Um, I think you're really cool, and would you like to get a coffee or something sometime? That's how you do it. Yes. You know, I was just really wondering if, you know, I, I don't want to seem weird or nothing, but would you like to get a coffee sometime to have a talk? Yeah. Just talk, you know. I'll buy you coffee. Exactly. That's how you do it. 
Exactly. Not, here's my, you don't even say anything to her and you're ghosting her with your music on a boombox? That's not how you hit on a girl. That's so weird. That's not going to work either. Oh my God. She's just going to think you're really creepy. This dude is like, he's really just, creepy. Though. He's creepy. <laughs> the cops are like, what? I love how the guy's just standing there with all authority. It's super hot. <laughs> he's like, dude. Dude. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the gas pain and it was soda, Mary. That's awful. Well, you got your gas pain out. Mm. That's that so, was a nice burp, that's dude. So good. That's, a, that's a Diet Trump burp. That was a nice burp. Really yummy. Well, it's just like, I only went like a couple blocks down the street. God, it's so sad that women can't appreciate it. I mean, I only chased her a couple blocks down the street with my boombox. I mean, come on. I mean. <sighs> Woo, vultures, go get them. You lost 50 pounds in three months? Oh my God, awesome. I had an older black gentleman ask me out today at the gas station. He was with his nephew, made me feel really good and to flirt and get flirted. Yeah, doesn't it? It's like, oh, thank you. You know, because you get so used to just like, it feels good when you get hit it on too, doesn't it, babe? Yeah. It makes you feel pretty. I've gotten in trouble for that. So I don't even talk about that. What are you talking about? Yeah. He likes it. <laughs> nice guy like this. Women are so weird. How can they not appreciate a complete psychopath chasing them around for a few blocks while blaring music that sounds like the soundtrack to a slaughterhouse? <laughs> I miss being flirted with. I'm too old now. Nah, man. Everybody, everyone does. I know. Everyone loves being flirted with. You can admit that. It's fine. I'm fine with that. I'm sorry I went crazy on you with my insecurities. I'm like foodie beauty that way, ain't I? <laughs> Oh, I had my song playing, and I wanted to like her to hear it, maybe. Well, apparently, she don't want to hear it, right? So what else happened? Let's get on the. Okay. His complete lack of remorse and disconnection from reality is startling. Oh no, it's not weird. Like I'm not weird. What? What are you? Why are you trying to say that I'm the crazy one for chasing her? I had my song playing. Oh, did I forget to mention that? My song was playing, so now everything's justified. Like I wanted her to hear it, so she'd have a choice to fall in love with me. Um, dude, have you ever thought maybe? have her consent to listen to your music instead of trying to force it on her you're in an actual relationship i know i know but like i mean like flirted by someone else i because a lot of the times i feel like i'm like frumpy so it's nice when someone says i'm pretty because i feel frumpy most of the time You still got it, Christina. You're pretty. Oh my God, I'm gonna vomit. I can't breathe. You okay? You have stuff in your lungs? No. What's going on, babe? It's like phlegm in my esophagus. Oh, you gotta get it out. You want me to pat your back? No, it's okay. I just, uh, the, the Coke's helping. Okay, honey. Here in Georgia, every soda is Coke. Georgia is the birthplace of Coca-Cola. That's correct, Lori. I have seen that. Can I have a Coke? I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. Georgia? Yep. Is where I was born? Yep. That's cool as shit. I didn't know that. Feel I, me now? Yeah. I love Coke. I do. Mm. <sighs> soda is one of the greatest inventions ever. I don't care. Poor girl. 
obviously. Her, her father called me up and he made some threats to me and to my life. Okay. And so. So her father called you up and made threats to you because you chased his daughter and you don't and you don't see why he would make threats to you. Uh, like you chased his daughter. Mm hmm. Yeah, Coke is much better than Pepsi. Hell yeah. I agree. I don't like the taste of Pepsi anymore, really. It's pretty rough. Yeah. No, I'm with Coke. I like Coke. Shani, can you give me your best advice about keeping a good relationship? I've been struggling lately. Oh. Know that most of your fights are stupid and you'll laugh at them later down the line. There you go. Don't break up over stupid fights. <laughs> Learn to laugh at your own stupid shit, basically. Own up. Say sorry when when you hurt your, your significant other. And um, just love them. It's that simple. Lane. Sorry isn't really going to work in the beginning, though. No. It doesn't. You have to show it. Well, whatever that means. But yeah, saying I'm sorry a lot of times will not diffuse things. The The best thing that you could do when you get in a big... it's If it's a big one and there's a lot of yelling and shit is walk away. Yeah, walk, walking take, away is good. Take a breath and then come back. Don't leave for good because then she's she or he is probably going to get pissed off. You're ignoring me now. That makes me more angry. So you go, you go for about five to ten... Ten's probably too long in my case. You can't do ten. Five minutes, walk away, and then come back. <laughs> Have a fucking cigarette or something away from your love. My man drives me nuts, but we are old. Yeah, you're going to. And you're going to have periods in your life where you're driving each other nuts and you're grading on each other, and then there's periods where you're just, you can't keep each, your hands off of each other. It's like an ocean or a wave or something like that. And you might get in your later years where you might even have separate beds, but that's okay for you then. Mm -hmm. Because you're over the sex and everything and you're just companions. You just hold hands and stuff, you know? Right. Like when you're like 75, the guy probably can't get it up anymore anyway. Yeah. And it's like, honey, you know, let's just sleep in our own beds, okay? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. yeah. We'll be more comfortable. Exactly. My legs hurt. Treat them like you would treat your best friend. That's what we do. 32 years and still in love. And mm. I say I love you every day. Exactly. That's amazing. That's so beautiful. We yeah. seem like a really sweet couple. Thank you. We've had it. We've had it. We've had our uh, ups and downs. Holy shit. <laughs> awesome. Both of you. Uh, Christina. But also you both say how you feel. It leads to discussion and away from fight. Sometimes you find you, find you are both anxious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's true. Exactly. That's true, Christina. We sleep in separate beds because I snore. Yeah, it's, you might have to do that when you're older, and yeah. that's okay. It doesn't mean you don't love each other. It's just you annoy each other when you sleep, mm -hmm. and you need sleep, and yeah. that's important. So I mean, Someone might have RLS or something. Oh, I do. You're not that bad, though, to sleep with at all. Yeah. You're not. You're nice to sleep with that's good. You're, you're pleasant to sleep with are people with bad rls they can't there was a it's couple times nice. i kicked you in the sleep it's yeah. so like twice and we're together five years honey like yeah you know what i mean we have two queen size beds pushed together works perfectly yeah california king's really nice oh uh, that's so nice that was awesome bed yeah we had an awesome bed dude yeah, just realize that you're going to fight with your significant other. It's going to happen, yeah. Yeah, but forgive each other and move on from it. It's not as big as the deal as you think it is at the time. No, most of the time it's over something pretty fucking small. Most it's, of the time. It's stupid. Yeah. Like our cookie fight. Yeah, and then there's bigger things like what happened with me on Facebook. That's a bigger thing. So you know, how are you going to handle that? You You have to handle them all the same, which is... Okay, I did this. You got it. You got to apologize first of all. That's the first thing you got to do. Say I fucked up. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I messed up, and I'm sorry. That's first. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully your partner will get over it. And if they do, you're still good. If they don't get over it, you're gonna have a problem. <laughs> but hopefully you can work it out. 
I hope so. For the big ones, I mean, honey. Oh. Like like the Facebook thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a big thing. That's mm -hmm. something big. That's not mm. small. Mm. But you have to treat the small and the big the same. Pretty much. You do. Mm. Just, <laughs> the person's going to be pissed off longer. Cookie fight. <laughs> but yeah, the cookie thing is like, okay, a day, we're cool. It's over with. Yeah, yeah exactly. But other things, it takes longer. Take oh, yeah, up, Rev up. sinned against you so badly, Shanny. He did, man. That it's... was horrible, yeah. I <laughs> no. Absolutely. I just want to have his name on file. Wrong. Uh, I think he said he's going to stab me, like, but he, he's, like, cussing at me. He said, he says, I'm going to do something to you. I swear I do something to you. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think <laughs> was going to happen, dude, for, for chasing his daughter? Did the cops say it for chasing his daughter? What do you expect, bud? What do you expect? Like, I'd, I'd do the same thing if it was my daughter. Uh, yeah, good thing you don't have a daughter, Rev. Yeah, You'd do some crazy stuff. Yeah, I would I would mess with guys if they mess with my girl. Yeah, I know. I would really fuck with them bad. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, but it wasn't chasing. It was like going down a couple streets. Like, that's like fun to women. Like, women like that. They're a little bit excited. <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> the cop is great. No, they don't. No, they don't. I was just cu just chasing her a couple blocks, man. Women love that shit. <laughs> and what? the cop's like, no, they don't. What is he talking about? Women of the night? <laughs> like, women of the night like you to be in your car chasing them? Maybe. <laughs> What? Jason's the cookie monster, correct. Yeah, I. he was my favorite on Sesame Street. See, it's for cookie. It's good enough for me. See, it's for cookie. It's good enough for me. Oh, cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. He was my favorite, and Grover. Grover. Was I favorite. loved Grover, too. <laughs> it, he was my favorite. The blue, he's the blue guy with the <laughs> red mouth, right, Grover? He was my favorite. I loved Grover. Him and Cookie Monster. I <laughs> loved Cookie Monster, too, <laughs> obviously. The count, eh. No. Okay. One bat, uh, uh, uh. Two bat, uh, uh, uh. Three bat, uh, uh, uh. And Elmo. Who didn't love Elmo before you knew the details of who voiced him? Oh, my God. <laughs> <sighs> cookie, cookie, cookie starts a fight. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a fat photog. That's video. That's awesome. Do it. Getting unhinged logic. No, I wasn't chasing her. It was like minor stalking. You know, that's not that <laughs> women love to be stalked. Like, it's fun to them. It's exciting. What? God, what an absolute lunatic. What a so yeah, the dad calls, apparently made threats against him because I'm assuming his daughter called him in a panic. Like, holy shit, this guy's coming after me and I'm fucking horrified. So the dad is trying his best to like stop anything bad from happening. So I'm sure... The dad in this like passionate moment is like, leave her the fuck alone, or I'm gonna do something about it. I'll give you a knuckle sandwich. Why I oughta? I don't think there's <laughs> anything wrong with that at all. To try and protect his daughter, keep her safe, doing what he. Yeah, exactly. My dad. Oh my god. My dad was a bear of a man. Yeah, that'd be scary, man. He just go pile. Okay, right my dad wall. was literally a bear of a man. He was six foot four and a half. About 500 pounds what? and hairy as shit. That's scary. He was literally a bear. That was okay. Wrestling material, dude. Mm hmm. 6'4, 500 pounds. He could have been in WWF easily. Yeah. Joe the Bear. And, and, <laughs> oh my God. And and he and he could he could hit. I bet. I bet. He could. Oh God, you don't want him to come at you. Like oh my God. He, he had this one story. This one guy hit this girl. In high school, yeah, and he broke the dude's nose. Did he? One hit. That's it. That's all it takes. Yeah. Yep. I believe that. He never yeah. messed with that girl again, though. Good. Uh huh. Uh huh. I've seen my dad do some really screwed up things to dudes. <laughs> <laughs> when I when my son was nine, some older man tried to coerce him in Walmart while I was in the dress room helping my daughter. I came out there, saw the man with my kid, and nearly ripped the guy's nuggets out of his throat. Yeah. Fuck that. <coughs> no. 
No. I'm very prote <coughs> protective of my kids. I will do anything for them. Mm-hmm. But you can from a distance, like, get the fuck away from her, you creep. Well, what about, like, if I was a daughter, I'd probably tell you the same thing. What about, like, <laughs> if that was my daughter, I'd probably tell you the same thing. <laughs> See, the cop doesn't blame the dad. No way. There's no way he's going to blame the dad. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? His daughter. You mess with a guy's daughter, you're, you're, you're risking your life. You are. What job did my dad do? He did precision metrics for the U.S. military. Where women like to have rape fantasies. Oh my what? God, are you bringing that up? Most women, what? Most women have rape fantasies? Most no, women? I don't. Most women? No, I don't. No, he, that's a huge claim he just He's made. insane. That's a very big claim that most women have that. That's insane. This guy's got to be like MGTOW or something to say something like that or, or an incel. He's got to be an incel or MGTOW. He's so stupid. Or both. Like you don't, you don't know women. You don't understand women. You're dumb. You're stupid. You're barbaric. And you're just like, n no. Good luck, bros. Yeah. God bless. Fire engine just got off. Who says that? I, he does. To the cops? I can't believe he said that to the cops. You know, guys, most chicks have that. You know, I just said, uh, all right, what are they going to say to that? Well, I don't know. Let's see what the cops say. I mean, do you like having rape fantasies? It took us only about a minute for him to start mentioning rape after talking about stalking and, you know, downplaying how stalking is not a big deal. Oh, my God. What a Wow. Man, they need to put that dude in handcuffs and get him evaluated. That would be a good idea. Yeah. 5150. Yeah, 5150 this dude. <clears throat> Get him evaluated. He's not mentally sane. They could be preventing something real bad. Yeah. If they do that. Yeah. Instead of arresting people, they need to just throw them in the freaking mental ward and get them evaluated. With him saying that, that's probable cause because that. Yeah. He's telling you, I'm like about ready to do something, guys. So you should probably do something with me. He's literally saying that. They definitely shouldn't let him go. No way. Hold him. Definitely hold him. Some guys really do believe that. Well, I can say, as a woman, that is a lie. Well, they hear it's a thing with some women. And then they go, oh, it's all women. Yeah. No. No. Some women are very triggered by that. Whoa. <laughs> yeah? Ugh. It's so crazy. Immediately yeah. brings it to BDSM and rape fantasies. Oh my God. From fucking out of nowhere. Oh, you're going to call me crazy for chasing her? Well, what about rape? You know, there's the rape fantasies and porn. What about What that? the hell? Like, like I, I just... What? That's probable cause. For yeah. him to so blatantly say that to the cops, like, that is probable cause to take him in. They need to get him checked out. Yeah. They, they, I hope, really hope the cops took him and, and at least got a me mental eval. Yeah. At least. If they don't do that, these cops are lax. I got news for you. If they mm -hmm. don't fit, they, they need to 5150 him. Yeah. For him to have said that in response to the question. Of course I do. <coughs> I do. I loved Ruth Chris. Steakhouse? Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. The lobster. Oh. Oh. The drawn butter and you're just dunking it. No. Ah, ah, it's so good. Ah. Did we have dessert? I don't remember. I don't remember either. I don't think so, I don't think so either. No. That was so great. What that was so fun. The concert and that. Man. COVID destroyed our... We could have had so much more fun. I know. But we were forced to be quarantined home while we had our money. Screw that. <laughs> Not fair. No. Whatever.
better times are coming. That was a great video. Thank you. It was a really tasty food. What? Oh, the Ruth Chris video. Yeah, the videos. Yeah, we both put out videos. I wish I did kept all my videos. I got them on iCloud. Oh, oh, cool. He has the gall, the chutzpah, to say most women have a rape fantasy. It, it, it's blowing my mind here, this guy's thought process. Most? It's fucking crazy. I'm also 100% sure he's never had an actual conversation with a woman. Probably. When he mentioned at the beginning they were kind of talking, I imagine it's because they were co-workers, and she said, like, hi to him occasionally, or, like, while they were working, were like, hey, need to do this. And that, to him, was, like, meaningful interaction You're with right. a human female. Uh, this is like a scary individual. His brain immediately jumps to rape yeah. yep. when confronted with his actions. Do you think he does? I don't know. But apparently he does. Well, well, sorry, you won't have to do. well, I just want you to get his name on file just in case he does do anything do you to me. Do you know his name? I know his daughter's name. What do you know his name? I know her name. I don't know his name. Wow, I can't believe he's reporting the police after doing this psycho stuff. The father. Like, he, he threatened me. <laughs> yeah, you're stalking his daughter. Yeah, you're going to hear from him. Hmm. No, this is this is real bad. This could have been a real bad thing and that they stopped. Yep. Holy crap. He sends her a pig carcass? Mm-hmm. And he's talking about our fantasies. Huh. Okay. You know where that's going. You just he called do. me from a restricted phone number. Okay. <laughs> here's, here, here's my suggestion. Leave her alone. A great suggestion from the officer here. Superb. Yeah. Just yeah. Leave it alone. Leave her alone. Period. And that's a good idea. Don't think about her in that way no more, buddy. Okay. Yeah. Don't. She think... doesn't want you around her. Yeah. She's creeped out by you. There's nothing. She don't like you. Okay. Stay away from her. I wish we had cops explaining that to G-Man. Yeah. Well. <laughs> kind of like he's chasing us with that, but it's his YouTube videos. Psycho. Sorry, yeah. Get the fuck away from her. Leave yeah. her alone. Solves all the issues here. Yeah. It's closed. Didn't even need Dr. Phil on this one to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> it's obvious. Just get away from her. Yeah. Well, this is one song I made, and this is the final chance that it's going to happen. Hey, here's my chance. Here, here's my advice. It's over. Leave her alone. Okay. Uh, here's my advice. It's over. Leave her alone. Okay? Mm -hmm. S stop trying to have her listen to your music. She's not interested, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, is it about the way the girl looks that he's thinking, oh, she's into this shit? Like, did she has like a nose ring or something? Oh, that's a sign. She's into to our fantasies and metal and shit. I don't know. There's got to be something that made him think that she's into this shit. Or it's all in his head. Which is entirely possible, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. His father's will hurt you over their daughters. Yeah, but that's the thing. She needs that real free will, man. You, you got to understand, I'm a man myself, bro, and I need myself. She, she's choosing her free will by telling her daddy what happened to you, and I'm telling you, stay away from her because he will hurt you probably. She's being controlled by him. For some reason, he's so delusional, he keeps thinking... She's being controlled by him? How would you know that, dude? See, that's like G-Man. I'm, I'm controlling yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, this this is like probably the same disorder. It might be the same this disorder. Is disorder, like... Like, Shady says that I, I, I should leave Rev alone. Well, she's she's just brainwashed by him. Well, no, no he's brainwashed by, by her. But what about if I say I don't want anything to do with you? Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Uh-huh. How about if I say I don't want anything to do with you, and I'd like you to stop talking about me in your videos, and I'd like you to stop talking about Shannon in your videos? How's that? Can you honor that? No, you won't. No. Probably, probably not. He'll probably have a big hissy fit. Stop talking about us. That's what my request would be. I don't want to see you. I don't want to talk to you. And please stop talking about us. That's what I would say. Yeah. Thinking <clears throat> that she doesn't have her own authority to make her own choices, yet keeps saying she needs her own free will. She had her own free will by running away from you. 
by like <laughs> being scared of you, running away, and then telling her dad that is her making choices to try and protect herself from you. Exactly. Because you are the threat. Yeah. You're the fucking danger that's knocking on her door, and she is responding with her own free will of getting the fuck away from you as fast and efficiently as possible. Yeah. It's just such a scary thought process because in his mind, he's totally justified in everything that happens here, and it's all normal to him. And the fact that she's not in love with him right now... It makes me wonder how many other people he did this to. How many women? I, he, he, who knows, dude? Yeah. He may have already committed crimes that nobody knows about. Like essays. A guy that talks like that has probably essayed a woman. Yep. Most likely. Yeah, they really need to investigate him. Or he's an incel guy that hasn't done it yet, but he was close to doing yeah, it. Yeah, he was close to he doing it to this to girl. Yeah. Yep. Uh, in his arms, in his bed, is because her dad is forcing her to make choices to split the two apart. It's not her making those choices because he's perfect. The guy with his music, his mixtape that sounds like five fucking squirrels being blown to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> five hundred squirrels being blown to pieces. G-Man says he's going to drop a CD on you guys Monday. What is wrong with him? I think we got to put a restraint around him. A restraint order on him. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh yeah, I'll just stop what I'm doing because you're triggered. How about you turn the, go watch something else instead of telling me what I should do on my own channel. Music's the best, and he's the best man in the world, so there's no way she is choosing on her own free will to not be with him. That is a dangerous thought process. That's fine, that's fine. That's, that's her choice, right? Free well, choice, free will. I think she should go do porn. Okay, you need what to the leave. fuck? You need to leave. Well, we're not doing any I think she should do porn? You need to leave. He said I, she should do our word porn, he said. Wow. And that now they're telling him to leave. Yeah, you need to leave now. I can't believe he's talking to the cops like this. This guy's definitely mentally... He's not right in the head, man. He's not right in the head. He's got a problem. Mm -hmm. You don't talk to cops like this, just openly. He's delusional. The cops are saying, you need to go, and he's saying, she needs to do our word porn. I know, right? What? What is wrong with you him? You need to get out now. The cop's like, he's done. The he's, cop's done he, he's gonna drop us off a mixtape. Better not come anywhere near this place, because the cops will get called. Okay? I don't need a mixtape from him. No. What a weirdo. I'm, I'm having discussion on it. I'm having discussion on it. I actually appreciate how the officer handles this situation yeah. here. He's not giving this guy an inch. She is fighting right. him on every point cop. he tries to make. Not that any of his points have any logical basis whatsoever or any sound reasoning. But I like that the officer's pushing back on everything. And he crosses a line when he says she should do porn. Yeah, exactly. It's That's like, insane. get out. That's insane. Get out. Yeah, the cops really do need to take him to the station. He wants to force a girl into doing porn. That's, this is, ugh. That's what it is. Where does that even come from? Like, everything this guy is saying is a giant red flag, and he needs legitimate help. Yeah. yeah. I, I was going to let her make her own choice after the song. She's made her choice. And I just don't think she had a reasonable opportunity to make a choice because I'm going to blow up and I'm going to be a famous DJ and I'm going to be like... He still really believes that because she didn't finish listening. What the hell I'm is gonna be wrong a famous with this DJ dude? And everything. No, she don't care about that. Go be a famous DJ. She don't care about that. Go. Leave. Don't. Leave her alone. <laughs> Go be a famous DJ. Jesus. She don't care. Leave. Now. <laughs> Oh my god. If I had be me if I were the cop. Listening to his song, she didn't have the right to say no. She didn't what? have reasonable basis for declining and rejecting him, I suppose. Okay. He believes he's going to blow up and be a famous DJ or this and that. Thus, she's making a huge mistake and needs to reconsider the choice. Mm -hmm. and her dad's making her choose this. It's fucking terrifying. Really weird. Oh, shit. That's... 
know what? You're, that dude's going to be the famous DJ? No, you don't even have the look, honey. <laughs> if you're a good DJ, you don't. You can look like dog shit. You're just obsessive. You can look like dog shit. And, and it's weird. Like DJ fan. <laughs> what a freak. Lindsay's dad, I hope you see this fucking video. You know what? He looks like one of those guys that would fit right into the geek room. Oh, incels. Mm-hmm. Like, seriously, geek room, right there. Yeah, that's the case, I think. <laughs> that's the same type of behavior, too. Just as delusional, too. Uh, what a weirdo. You're really lucky he didn't get arrested, though. He really is. Now, just like in The Dark Knight, we have the Joker turning the camera on himself here, and we get to take a look at him. And he really still believes everything he's done is justified and that the girl and her dad are the villains here. You know what happens when women don't ever, you know, come to terms with themselves? Well, why don't you tell me what happens when a woman doesn't come in terms with herself because you can't understand the word no. Please enlighten me, weirdo. God, his eyes are like pleading like she just doesn't understand me. That's all. What a freak. Tell me, honey, what do you, what do you think about what you what do you think you know about women? Bad shit happens. Bad shit happens. I don't know. He literally said, if a woman doesn't come to terms, bad shit happens. What? What? <coughs> What? Something um, the cops want to deny. And this right here I think should be taken very seriously. This the cops want to deny? They're protecting a girl from potentially being, you know, hard. What a weirdo. This is not a mentally well person, mm -hmm. and this comes across as an actual threat against the safety of both the girl and her father yeah. here. He's yeah. already shown that he has no problem stalking women, and I really think this needs to be looked at seriously to make yeah. sure that he's not in a position to do harm to anyone around <laughs> yeah. him. It's just very concerning. Me trying to get her to be used to treat? Something is wrong about that? I don't see why these Me trying to make her straight? So she's a lesbian. She's a lesbian? And and it, he's he wants to turn her straight. Do I don't think it works that way. No, it don't. Like, she's a lesbian. So not only, not only does she want nothing to do with him, but she's a lesbian on top of it. <laughs> and, he, and he thinks he can persuade her to, to, to like the bean pole. It, it, dude, it doesn't work that way. Okay? ass motherfuckers think they can speak shit whenever it's this woke belligerent LGBT shit that has uh -huh. he's a right fucking in, he's yeah, a he's a mental conservative he, I guarantee, yeah I guarantee it I guarantee fucking tea it he's a oh, wow guy. he's a conservative red pillar he's wow a red, he's a red pill MGTOW guy I guarantee it because a lot of them think like this chi man no, I, he's not that bad, honey. He, he, Shani, he you are alone with him. He doesn't say all women have an R fantasy. He doesn't think like that. Do oh, he probably he doesn't thinks that. He doesn't he's think a weirdo. Like that. No, he doesn't think like that. No. I'm older than your fucking father? That's how I feel right now. Yeah, the, this rant's really going off the fucking rails. Uh, so... Apparently, the girl isn't interested in men, and his plan was to make her interested in men by giving her his love as well as letting her listen to his songs. Right. And when she still wasn't interested, she blames the dad. Like, the dad is the one that's made his daughter not like him, and then says that he is older than her dad. What? Like, it's, it's so fucking wild. But it is all... I don't know why this guy is locked up. They should have put a 5150 on him for At the least. words he said just clearly then. Yeah, that was irresponsible on the cops. They shouldn't have just told him to leave. They should have 5150 him. 
I would have if I were the cop. I would have this too. guy. This guy could be on the edge of committing a. a All murder. right, buddy. We need to get you evaluated. Come on. Yeah, he would have. Yeah, been you said enough. Yep. Let, let's get you evaluated. I would not have let him go. No. No way. He's a danger to society. Potential. Yeah. Yeah. Potential. You just get him evaluated, and if they say he's mentally stable, then you gotta let him go. Yeah. Exactly. Very concerning to listen to. Uh, I just wanted to share this because I do think this is the creepiest guy I've seen online so far. I would agree with that. And I that. truly he's... hope that everyone involved here is safe. Yeah. And hopefully this guy gets the help that he very much needs. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's about it. See ya. The, he's a, this is a very good channel because he's got so many subs. I don't know. How did this dude get so many subs? Because he's compassionate. No. He's more. He's well, more. I was compassionate. I didn't have twelve million subs. How did he get so big? I don't understand this because I've seen his videos and they're pretty dull. Hey, I wish I knew. I, I'd like. To <laughs> yeah, know the that's secret. the formula we need. Actually, I need to fix this question. It's okay. It always like. All right. Be yeah. careful. I know. Everything's falling off on me. <laughs> oh God! Come on, baby girl. Oh. Careful. Oh. Thank you, baby. Oh, I got it. Okay. I got it. Ow! Oh, 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 e. oh, ah! There you go. I'm better. Yeah. Here, go, go. <laughs> he does have so much stuff to watch. I like Penguin. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> no, it's not a romper. It's a dress. It's a dress. This guy is a joke. I'm going to just watch penguins. Why not? <laughs> it's late at night. Everyone's about to go to sleep. I'll do one more video with penguins, and then I'll take off for the night, I think. What do you think, babe? I, that's, that's your show. Yeah. We'll do that. One more video. Have you ever stopped to think how embarrassing it is being born? The first thing a human being does when it's birthed is cry, and crying is cringe. So we literally enter this world as a little cringe specimen. <laughs> Why is crying cringe? I think crying can be beautiful. The world thinks crying is cringe. That's how the world feels. He reflects the world. I can't, I don't think crying is cringe. It's not at all. I think it's a human emotion and it should be valued. Because it, crying is a good release. It's healthy. I'd never shame someone for crying. I have to try to stay up because they're having me with my third shift this week. Ah, oh, bless your heart. That's hard. Have a good night, Sandra. Thank you for everything. Yeah, thank you. I love when Shanny acts silly. She's so funny. Thank you, Mary Jane. Shoot. Work. Gotta go to work. Shoot. Hi. Watermelons. How are you? Yeah. yeah. It's up to us to spend the rest of our lives trying to transcend the first cringe and be something more. But what happens when you spend your entire lives as nothing but a clown? Someone who just embarrasses themselves at every step of their journey. Well, then you end up like Billy Mitchell. I'm just describing Billy Mitchell. Billy Mitchell is the self... You could have been describing me. Or what a lot of people say. I mean, I am the two-time winner of the Lulz Cow Award, so... Like, I'm sure this guy's seen you. Probably. In passing. But has he done a video on you? I don't know. But he's probably, he knows of you, probably. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows of me. Yeah. They're like, hi, Shani. You know they know about me. That's <laughs> how they say it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. Everybody knows you. This guy can have 12 million subs and make him who knows how much a month, and you, you're, you make nothing. So. I want to make something, damn it. That's I will great. someday. But everybody knows you. <laughs> that's that's true. <laughs> everybody knows my name. I'm like Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> and so glad you came. Mm -hmm. 
This guy is a joke. Okay. Proclaimed video game player of the century. He was the former world record holder for Donkey Kong, and he has spent the better part of the last four or five years just ruining his own reputation <laughs> by frivolously <laughs> suing everyone that even so much as makes fun of him or makes a light joke about him. And the reason for this lashing out is because it was revealed through tons and tons and tons of evidence that Billy Mitchell most likely cheated for his records, uh. is most likely a fraud, allegedly. Uh -huh. So since that... Cheating for your records. Come cheated on. on Donkey Kong? Come on, that's lame. Come on, man. That's lame. You cheated on Donkey Kong, dude. Dude. No, there's nothing wrong with making money. Everyone should make money. You have to. Losers Club, where everyone knows Shani's name. <laughs> yeah. He's a bartender at Cheers, Shani. That's great. It's called Shani's, though. It's not Cheers, it's Shani's. There you go. I always wanted to go to a London nightclub like in the vampire movies. Ooh, that sounds fun. We should oh. go together. <laughs> <laughs> At Doomsday, Billy's just been an insufferable asshole who sues everyone who makes a joke I about it or a, talks a about it. Here, and he tries to scare Ooh. people with massive Ooh. lawsuits. It's just a big piece of shit. So he's already sued a YouTuber whom I'm a big fan of. His name's Carl. I'm sure a lot of you have watched his content before. He's suing Carl, and it's a very expensive lawsuit so far. Yeah, a purple top hat with a black ribbon. That would be hot. Do you like the Do you like the hat that a cult, what's his name, Gary Oldman wears in Bram Stoker? You like that look that oh, he has? Oh, yes. You like that look. I do. The long hair. You could look a lot like him, actually. Yeah, I would look like that so yeah you, you would like, you guy and i talk like this to you i'm being sued he he literally sues people who make jokes about him <coughs> that's ridiculous you can't no you're not protected from being joked about what you are protected from is people harassing you yeah it was the pickwick wasn't it the the photo at the start of cheers what? the it's it's a restaurant in duluth Oh, really? Uh-huh. That first picture? Uh-huh. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. There's a little cute chocolate place right next to it. <laughs> I love Cheers, man. That's a great show. It's been like $180,000, according to Carl. But he wasn't done there. <clears throat> Just two weeks ago, Billy Mitchell came back out of the shadows to sue Carl again. Even though the <laughs> previous lawsuit is still ongoing, he's suing Carl, or he is suing Carl again, but this time for an even more outrageous reason that I'm not going to spoil right now. I'll let Carl go ahead and give you the surprise because what a special treat it is. This is one of the most baffling reasons for a lawsuit I think I've probably ever heard in general. Now, as I understand it, the second lawsuit hasn't been fully filed yet. Right now it is still in the letter of intent stage where... They it's going to be found as frivolous. Yeah, of course. That's what's happening to me. He keeps filing lawsuits and they're frivolous. <laughs> No, you're not protected from being joked about. You're not, and you shouldn't be, because that's freedom of speech. Like that bar scene, I, I'm completely going to like vampires, like stuff. That bar scene, that was in Queen of the Damned. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Okay. The seventies were better. No offense. I didn't live then. I wish I did. It would have been great. No, I don't. I I'm glad I grew up in the '90s, 2000s because that that the, the the goth chicks, man. I love goth chicks, and that really wasn't a thing in the '70s. God, I want to dress goth so bad lately. I think it fits my attitude. Dye my hair black. Black number one, dude. There you go. That's I like myself the best with black number one hair. I love that look. Long they are intending to sue Carl and have sent him the document. I'd love it too. Such. We go but to London together, like ladies. It is going to be sent. Uh, we'll in party the at a days. vampire club. Yeah, we'll party at a vampire club in London. I dress up can, for that shit. Can we go in front of uh, 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 um, all the uh, uh, the royal guard? Uh, no, don't mess with them. Uh, no, I just want to take a picture in front of them. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Don't mess with them, though. That's not polite. I'd salute them. I'd love to go to London. 
Oh my god, if I go to London, I so have to get a hold of Dan and Alex. Dan? Dan. Alex. Dan. I don't want to say their names. Holy. Oh. My, the Bromley crew. Mm. Be like, hey, what's up? Want to hang out with me? Finally, after all these years? Yes. Just pose in front of the guards, all sexy. <laughs> we'll just like go bend over with our cleavage and just do this in front of the guards. <laughs> I'm sorry. In response to this, Carl made another video going over just how silly it all is, but also how expensive everything is. And he set up a GoFundMe because he's right now getting dual hand jobs here from Billy Mitchell with the double lawsuit coming in. So he does have a GoFundMe, which I'm going to link below. Please. Feel free to support him if you'd like to help Carl against an absolutely ruthless villain here. I think Billy Mitchell is unhinged and this kind of behavior is completely unacceptable and complete fucking bullshit. And hopefully it results in Billy Mitchell himself getting countersued. Good news is he currently is in another lawsuit with a company called Twin Galaxies and it's looking like he will most likely lose that. So there's some good news there and I have full confidence that Carl will also be able to beat Billy Mitchell because Billy has a history of these awful fucking lawsuits that just don't work because they're so fucking dumb. Now, I'd like to share some of Carl's video with you and go into even more detail on Billy Mitchell. So I want to okay. talk about this. I don't know how many of you saw this today. So Carl is again being sued by Billy Mitchell. Billy Mitchell, as I'll bring you up to speed on the lore, uh, disgraced best gamer of all time. What did he call himself? The gamer of the century? Yeah, he cheated on Donkey Kong. That's messed up. That's some BS. Work. Yeah, that's just taking like that that one <laughs> Japanese kid who worked his whole life trying to do Japanese do Donkey Kong and took the glory away from him. Mm -mm. You know, what a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. That's some BS. You don't do that. You don't cheat on Donkey Kong. There's respect in that game, man. Have some respect mm -hmm. for that art, man. Can't quite recall. Donkey Kong world record holder outed as a fraud in. Denial for the rest of his life, allegedly a fraud. Otherwise, I'm going to get sued for saying that. And he just goes on, like, a legal rampage to try and scare people in the silence. So he throws his meat around to get people on edge so they don't talk about him or they remove anything that's, you know, hypercritical of him. Carl has once again found himself in the crosshairs of old Billy Mitchell here. So Yeah, I know a whole crew from Bromley. So we knew each other from, like, back in the day in Yahoo Chat when we were, like, 15 and like on every every day together on Yahoo Chat and just talk to each other for hours. I love them. If you met one of those guys, you'd probably fucking totally fall in love with them. No, I wouldn't. Maybe, but... No. I never like cheat codes on games. What is the point of playing? Exactly, Ginger. There's no like, there's nothing like, uh. No, nah, once you've played and beaten the game, God mode is fun as shit. Yeah, it can be. Sometimes. It was for me. <laughs> so he's now posted this video talking about it, and this one is a little scarier than the last one. Billy Mitchell's got the fangs out, so he's coming out locked and loaded, and it's just a really fucking sad situation that Billy Mitchell continues to do this. He's what they call a serial sewer. He just files all kinds of these frivolous lawsuits knowing full well they won't make court. <laughs> but is still expensive on the people he files them against most of the time, it's a fucking disgrace. And he's absolutely shit at games. As many of you know, last year I was officially sued by yep. Billy Mitchell. In September of 2021, Mitchell filed a $450,000 lawsuit against me over my video titled The Biggest Con Man in Video Game History. Straight video. <laughs> it's okay, Eden. <laughs> I'm not on a loop right now. <laughs> I was just wondering how long people would pick that up. It was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, too. Into that video. Nope. Yeah, so if you're not familiar with Billy Mitchell, but you've seen the regular show, Billy Mitchell was so upset. He looks like a douche. <laughs> the, the flag just tie is just automatically douche. And, and then the perfect beard and the hair, it just, like, in that, like, pretentious look, it just, like, douche. 
Like, hey, I impress all the ladies. No, you don't. Said that they used his image in... Here, I'll bring it up, actually. I don't even know why I'm going to try and paint it with words when I can just look it up. They used this as, like, an antagonist when it was about, like, a high score episode. Billy Mitchell got pissed. Really? He got so fucking mad. And he got mad about. over that picture. <laughs> and sued someone over that picture. Man, I didn't know I could put lawsuits on people like that. You can't. Woo! Best Billy Mitchell's ever looked. I actually think Regular Show did him a great service. Usually, he's dressed like he's running for a student class president. <laughs> but here, they made him look they made him look cool. <laughs> I can't remember if he sued them, though. Oh, no, he did. He did and lost. He did sue them and lost. Which okay. sounds par for the course in the life of Billy Mitchell. Ah, poor douchebag lost the case against the cartoon portrayal. Aw. It's self -per I mean, come on. I mean... Dude... Imitation is the greatest form of flattery. You ever hear that, man? Mm -hmm. uh. Judge declares Mitchell is not a giant floating head. <laughs> cool ruling. Though I do understand why Billy might be a little upset because they portrayed him as like this ferociously unhinged maniac. <laughs> which he is. So that's just a big old get fucked, Billy. <laughs> I actually haven't read the quotes from the ruling. The television character does not match. Later, Christina. Hey, buddy. It's the plaintiff in appearance. GBF, character in the show, appears as a non human creature, a giant floating head with no body from outer space, while plaintiff is a human being. And when oh, GBF geez. loses his title, the character literally explodes, unlike plaintiff. <laughs> oh my god. So stupid. You can't put a lawsuit on that. No. That is so frivolous. Your Honor, this is clearly a case of uh, misrepresentation because my client does not explode. Okay? And he has, ex he has experienced pain and suffering from this non-exploding, and you've portrayed him as exploding, Your Honor. I mean, look at him now. Is he exploding? No. No, sue them. This is an outrage, and it requires $10 million in his bank account. Thank you very much, Your Honor. One could argue Billy Mitchell also explodes, but it's far more embarrassing. His explosions just usually end up with shittily written lawsuits, and as well as just verbal tantrums that assault. Billy Mitchell's compulsive need to threaten and sue people that talk about him has reached all-time highs, and you will not believe what John he's Wick? recently done to try to silence me. Yeah. But before that, my he's legal defense has cost $180,000. Yep. Yes, you heard correctly, $180,000. That's why it's so disgraceful when someone takes this absolute garbage route. There's a lot of people that have done this online. You guys might remember BitBoy Crypto tried something similar against Atozi. Where Atozi called him out on some of the shit he was talking about, and BitBoy Crypto threatened this big lawsuit, you know, defamation, I can't sleep, I can't eat because he called me a dirtbag, that kind of shit. It is always such a financial burden to fight that shit, even though it doesn't win the case. The whole point is to bleed you of money. It's, it's so fucked up. Does it not cost Billy Mitchell money to file these? I don't know. I'm not well... I would think it would cost money. Lawyers cost money. Lawyer fees. Yeah. The court costs are not that bad. No. They're not that expensive to Maybe. file something. But the the legal representation is where the money comes from. Yeah, 3000 to 5000 a month. Yeah, for a retainer. Yep. So it's like, I, hey, I'm willing to pay the retainer because I'll get all these bucks from people by suing them over random stuff just talking about me. It sounds great, men. Win-win <laughs> situation, men. You got the money, you got the representation. That's yeah. It goes money <coughs> <coughs> mm. first enough to know for sure a lot of times the frivolous lawsuits in order to file them it's not super expensive or anything you can do it relatively cheap at least compared to fighting it because once you file it the onus is really on the person you're going after to defend themselves against you so that's where a lot of the money comes from so yes it does cost something for them to do it 
but it doesn't cost nearly as much for them to file it as it does to fight it. Because you see, Billy Mitchell isn't satisfied just suing me once. Oh no, he's going to sue me. Double again. dipping. In April of this fist. year, I released a video called Disgraced Gamer Billy Mitchell Accused of Extortion, <laughs> where I factually and objectively <laughs> reported on accusations made against Mitchell by the current Donkey Kong World the record American holder, Robbie Lakeman. That's what... I don't know, maybe, what, what maybe he thinks he'll get away with whatever he's like, <coughs> doing behind the scenes if he wears an American flag. I don't know. Maybe. I think it's tacky. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Oh, look at me. I do. I, I play Donkey Kong. I'm so hot and wonderful over it. <laughs> or you made a mistake, Carl. I got to tell you, when it comes to Billy Mitchell, there's no such things as facts, only feelings. And you, you poke the sleeping bear. Billy was content with just one frivolous lawsuit, but now he's, he's going in full throttle. As in my humble opinion, he has absolutely no case, and this is just an attempt. $450,000 suing this dude for making a video? That's lawsuits. This guy actually does lawsuits. He does, he, man. He does. But he does it because he's got money. He can do it. It's all lawsuits. Yeah, you never know. He might win one. Someday, maybe. Attempts to scare me, but it still gets even worse. Yeah, it's an expensive scare tactic, though. <laughs> and I have to yeah. say, I love the yeah. nuts on Carl. So, usually in these things, they Thank make you, a request to on the video or else. A lot of times, because of how expensive this is and how scary the big numbers are, people fold, take it down. Hope that's the end of it. Carl sticks to his guns, and I always appreciate that. I always think that's great. Just say, okay, you want to dance? Mama's putting on the dancing shoes then. Let's hit the tango. And then duke it out from there. Because going forward, while it's cheaper to file it than it is to fight it, it is still going to cost Billy Mitchell money should this continue. He's going to lose money as well. And it's not like he's, like, super wealthy. He does have a decent chunk of change to his name, from what I understand. Might be but it's not does. like he's made out of money. He can't fight this thing forever. In May of this year, I released a video called Rope I Cheated Squadron. in the Speed Run and I Need to Come Clean, which was a parody <laughs> video where I jokingly made oh, fun of myself for Rope submitting Squadron. a few cheated scores to a gaming magazine over 20 years ago when I was a kid. Anyone who's watched that video might be wondering what this has to do with Billy Mitchell. Oh, Shadows of the Empire. Shadows of the Empire. 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 Fuck yeah. Ah. Love that. Man, Star Wars games are really fun. They were the best in those that era. The N64 time? Oh, man. Oh. I love Star Wars games. Me too. G-Man took my Star Wars game. Man, he really puts a downer in my life, man. He took so much of mine. Yeah, it's just stuff, though. I know, but it's, like, really insulting that he did that to me. And it hurts my feelings. My feelings are hurt. While it is true that I didn't mention or talk about Billy Mitchell, I did show this clip. You're familiar with Billy Mitchell? ABGN. Oh my god! James! James! Oh my god, did James reveal it? What? That he cheated on Donkey Kong? Maybe. He would do that. He's the man, I know that. Dude! I love James so much, dude. He's great. James! He's awesome. The angry video game nerd! He's a guy, I don't care if, if people say he's sold out, I don't care. Like, I'll legitimately love him forever. Like, I feel real, I, I could be best friends with him. He's the type of guy that Are I... Are you glad I introduced him? Very much. Did he grow up in Pennsylvania? Yes. He did grow up in PA. He okay. did grow up in PA, yeah. He is a PA boy. I love that. See, I he could have been my best friend, like one of them. <laughs> he could have, actually. Easy. Easy. He's the type of kid I hung out with a lot. I know. He, he, you're the type of kid he would have hang out with. Exactly. Totally. We would have. Makes me say He's a little older, though. He is a little bit older, right? Like, 10 years? Is he 10 years No, old? he's like 43. Okay, that's right around our age. Man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I could have hung out with him, dude. All right, what do you have to say, James? He could probably do it. So I gotta find a way to harness his power. And oh! I found a way. That's right, we're gonna cheat. I have to harness this his power. Me. That's that right, we're gonna cheat. 2020, <laughs> which has over four she ri he ripped on him like that. That's <laughs> right, we're gonna cheat. Game genius. Just like him. <laughs> that was great. That's great, one. great, James. He said it without saying it. Yeah. He would do that, though. James is great. He's the best, dude. Four million views Fire on YouTube meme. and millions of views on Twitter. 
That's right. In the entire video, I literally did not mention Billy Mitchell. You at should all. sue we'll Angry Video Game. Nerd. I simply ran no! through and no! someone else. No, should not. Him. No, shut up. Don't say that. Are you anti AVGN, dude? I'm done with him if, he's, if he's anti. Nah, -AVGN. James Rolfe is beautiful. Leave him alone. He's an incredible individual. I love him. Who's extremely talented. I love him. Okay, and he makes awesome metal music. He does make awesome metal music. He he's awesome, just in every way. I know. Do not diss James like that. I'll come for Penguin. <laughs> Don't you be touching Aw, oh, Jesus bless you, Ginger. It's rewarding with every smile they give, Melly, and please let me thank you for your love. I couldn't do it without people like you. Oh, bless your heart. It's Christians, man. It's, it's, it's love. I love you, Ginger. Yeah, yeah, we all love each other. Like, that's all that's important is love we is love good. each other. It's good. We may not know each other in real life, but we can at least love each other. Yeah. Talking as a joke, and Billy Mitchell wants to sue me for this. I didn't remember this. Peter Dinklage plays, plays a Billy Mitchell stand-in who is always best oh in Adam character Dinklage. when they were He actually would be perfect to do him, actually. Yeah. <laughs> he would be perfect, dude. Oh, that's great. <laughs> hey, this guy brought it on himself, okay? Because he cheated. He did. He cheated. He's a douche. He's a douche canoe. Don't cheat. It's revealed the reason he was so good was because he cheated. Fucking <laughs> thing. I'm assuming Billy Mitchell tried a lawsuit there. He must have consented to that then. Maybe that was too big of an opportunity. You literally for used him a game to, genie to get right, to Ginger. Yeah. They had the creator of Pac Man get eaten by Pac Man in the movie. I and wonder what he is. Billy Mitchell is always adamant that he's never cheated. It's all legit. He is. What, what does he call himself? Is it the gamer of the century? The gamer of the like, century. He calls himself the fucking gamer of the century or something. <laughs> oh, God. He's one of them. His ego, man. I'm oh, God. Man, I'm telling you, the best thing you can experience in life is ego death. Yeah, I agree, but I bet I could, I don't care what he says, he's the gamer of the universe. I can beat anybody in Soul Calibur with Michidugi. I can beat anybody, I don't care who you are, I'm going to beat you. Now? Yeah, still. The button movements are in my head so much, forget it. No one can beat me. You get so angry when you play those games. No, I, that, that was really... That was alcohol. That was alcohol that was making me rage. I'm not like that normally with a game ever. Okay. I don't care if I win or lose normally. All right. This is the truth. Oh, video game player of the century. Not even, Jesus, gamer of the century would have been better. Why video game player? You just call yourself gamer and you get one word for the price of three. Yeah. Billy Mitchell is guilty of fraudulently hoodwinking so as to obtain unfair advantage when competing in video games. Yeah. That is what the meme is uh, saying. I don't know how you really sue for the meme, though. Especially when Carl didn't even make the meme. He should go after the meme maker. In fact, he should just go after anyone that says anything about him on Twitter or Reddit. Like, just really put your tentacles all the way out there. Section 10A Dude, of the Defamation Act at you. the time of your... I'm actually shocked Billy Mitchell hasn't come after me yet. Not only have I made fun of this man extensively for you... <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I made fun. He's admitting he made fun of him extensively. Don't sue me, Billy Mitchell. I just fell onto this. Yeah. You ain't gonna get anything either, cause I'm poor as shit. Yeah, that's right. But but we don't know if he cheated anyway. We're not saying in the. What is Rh negative blood type stuff, Autumn? You think I'm the streamer of the century? Nah. Typo negative. Oh, that's what they're trying to say. Typo negative. No, it says RH negative blood type stuff. No, I'm just saying typo negative. Oh. Blood. I, I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know what they're talking about either. RH negative factor blood? Okay, what about it? I don't know what you're... I, I don't understand. Here's now. I've talked about him on the podcast quite a bit. I keep up with Billy Mitchell and the enjoyable tragedy that is his public reputation. And how he just wipes his ass with it constantly. It's I, all I, different theories over that blood type. Oh. Oh. Okay. That sounds interesting, actually. That is interesting. I, I, I'm, I'm not really that knowledgeable on blood types, so. Good thing about being poor. Who wants to bother suing you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true. That is an advantage. <laughs> I, 
I am super finger on the pulse when it comes to Billy Mitchell. I am shocked he hasn't tried. I he, I, I suppose he's welcome to if he wants. I alien would absolutely Christ bite that shit to the nail. Like I would have I yeah. request that it's it be live streamed as well. So that way All right, content I will look that up. I think it'd be great. Tomorrow. Billy Mitchell strikes me as the type of guy that would represent himself in court, too. Even though none of his lawsuits have ever made it that far because they're such dog shit. I feel like if they did, he would represent himself. It would be just a content factory. Oh, my lord. Billy Mitchell is a joke. He has become a parody of himself. Not defamatory. I would otherwise Truth. be laughing if not for the fact that this is a real letter written by a real lawyer that my lawyers really had to respond to. So not only does he want to... God, that's so awful. You have to be a YouTube and, like, lawyer up. It's media. Mm-hmm. So it's, um, it's going to be, it's inevitable. Yeah, you need a manager. You need a lawyer. Agent. All of it. Yeah. You kind of do. Yeah. No, i definitely going to look in that RH negative stuff. Because that looks, in that sounds interesting. What's up, Shanny for life? Which bands do you like? Typo negative. <laughs> yeah. Seven Dust. Yeah. Me? Oh, they're asking me what yeah. bands I like. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're on the right track. Nine, Nin. Inch, Nine Inch Nails. Tool. Yeah. He also likes a perfect circle. Yeah. Metallica. Yeah. Um um uh, Nirvana. Yes. Yeah, you're hitting all the high points. Exactly. Radiohead. Bush. Bush. Yeah. Bush is. Yeah. There's something about Bush and us. Yeah, we don't. We oh, it, going with it, that. it starts to steam with us with Bush. Steamy. Very steamy. Yeah. <laughs> really good makeout. Yes. Never mind. Let's not get. <laughs> exactly. To sue me over a meme that someone else made, but he wants to sue me over a meme that someone else made. I may review Shanny for Life's videos. Huge. There are hundreds of comments underneath the YouTube video of this clip of people making fun of Billy, joking, saying that he's going to sue them for posting it. And then he actually. Yeah, how can you, as Billy Mitchell, they even quoted the YouTube comments in the lawsuit, so how can you, as Billy Mitchell, see these comments, them laughing at you, knowing you're going to sue him, and then still do it? You make yourself <laughs> an even bigger joke. That's true. It, it is actually just impressive. Billy Mitchell is like a human snowball, like just tumbling down a mountain, getting bigger and bigger and bigger as more and more failures compound, and then eventually just having this comedic explosion at the bottom that everyone points and laughs at. <laughs> oh my god. That's pretty rough. <laughs> That's pretty rough. I swear he could be saying that stuff about me, though, at the same time. I've heard people talk about this type of stuff I with know, me. I know. But it's based on life. Bush can have that good slow makeout music. Oh my god, you have no idea. Good shit. Uh, eyes rolling back experience. It's like a spiritual, like, it's like your spirit dance when you listen to Bush during a makeout session. Mouth. Uh, you, ooh. Yeah, okay, one. let's. Li <laughs> yeah. what, an, what a remarkable <laughs> legacy. So, I have set up a GoFundMe Probably. to help with my fight against Billy Boy. Mitchell, and any help would be immensely appreciated. Absolutely. This GoFundMe is set to cover the rest of my existing lawsuit, plus the new lawsuit that Billy Mitchell says he will be filing, plus having to deal with all of the other bullshit threats that come my way. <laughs> this is in Australian dollars, so it's not as large as it seems, but it's still a very significant amount of money that is going to take to defeat USD? Mitchell. There is light at the end of the tunnel, though. In Australian court, generally, the loser has to pay a lot of the legal fees of the winning party. So How's the GoFundMe going? I hope it's going well. I haven't checked. Fuck yeah. Hey, that's a good so he's losing all these, <laughs> like, battles, and he has to pay for the, his defense bill. Man, that's that poor guy. Yeah, that ain't right. His pride is so much that he's paying these dudes now. That's <laughs> why sue. <laughs> yeah. Good day one right there. I'll be donating to it. I I really think when Carl wins, I, I don't see a world where Billy somehow squeaks out a dub here. I think when Carl wins, Carl needs to counter Sue. And, and I will do Easy. whatever it takes to make that possible. I want to put Billy Mitchell against the ropes. I want Carl and Billy to duke it out in court. Oh and my I just want God. to be there with the popcorn to spectate. 
Because you you can counter sue for frivolous lawsuits. Knowingly filing bogus lawsuits isn't necessarily allowed. You can come back against that for sure. So I really think once this is all settled, the dust settles. I think a counter suit is the right play. The next 12 months will not be good for Billy Mitchell. He has his trial against Twin Galaxies oh, coming up. No. And in my opinion, oh, yeah. in the opinion of anyone who knows the details of Mitchell's cheating, he has absolutely no chance of <laughs> I completely fucking forgot. Billy Mitchell is actually being sued right now. So in the middle of him getting sued, he's Forensic still sitting out lawsuits. This man is unstoppable. Have said I forgot Twin Oh, man! Uh-oh. The forensic analysts are saying he's cheated and they're putting a lawsuit on him now. Do you know Man. what they're going to want him to do? They're going to want him to do it again. What? Do it again. Yeah. Prove it. Do it again. Prove you can do it. Yeah. I think he kind of has to. What's up, to. Krista? Yeah, he has to. Penguin says he sucks at games, so. I know. <laughs> when Galaxies is suing him. But as soon as he loses one of these lawsuits, which is inevitable, he will be absolutely the destroyed uh... and everything will come crumbling <laughs> down. So, this has been an update to what I've been dealing with. So, one thing Carl says that I think is a little wrong is everything coming crum everything crumbling down for Billy Mitchell. That makes it sound like Billy Mitchell has, like, a prospering career. He doesn't. Billy Mitchell is, like, the definition of washed-up has-been. <laughs> everything will come crumbling down should all of these lawsuits not go in his favor, which I highly doubt they will. But it's not like he's in a good spot right now in general. People talk about him as the butt of jokes. He's not necessarily a celebrity. He's not looked at in, as a video game icon or champion or anything. He doesn't have, like, a big empire. He's just a big asshole who has <laughs> ruined his life and refuses to accept any level of responsibility. No one gives a fuck about Billy Mitchell aside from laughing at him for every frivolous oh my lawsuit. God. You might get sued. I'm not saying anything defamatory. I'm just saying the truth of where he's at right now. He may or may not have cheated. That kind of There's a lot of evidence to suggest though. he did, but it's all alleged, of course. I'm just talking about him being a joke of a person. That's defamatory. <laughs> That's defamatory, though. Why is it defamatory? Because it is. To call someone a joke? Yeah. A, a living, breathing joke? That's defamatory, in my opinion. If I were on a jury, I would say that that is mildly defamatory. Mildly defamatory. He's not saying he kills babies or whatever, stuff like that. Not saying that, but yeah. But it also can be considered an opinion. A defamatory opinion. Maybe. That he's a joke. Maybe. You know what I mean? That would be for a jury to decide. I called him a douche. That's defamatory. Whatever. But not in an overt way, though. It's not Freedom of speech. I have a right to criticize. Well, then a lot of what happens to you is fine then, huh? I know. That's just true. Uh, unless they lie. There's a difference. I don't mind being criticized. It's the lying I have a problem with. Yeah, that's my thing, too. That's not defamatory. I find you sad. That's not defamatory. <laughs> Watching you makes me laugh and feel sadness. Again, if you have the means, I would appreciate any help. So please consider donating to my GoFundMe, or consider sharing this video. Thank you so much for watching, you legends. I hope you are having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. <coughs> Love you, Carl. It's just best not to make exposed videos, because they could get you sued. I agree. You know? Let's just be honest with that shit. It's just best not to do exposed videos. Yeah, I agree. Or it could get you sued. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at our beautiful watermelons with her beautiful eyes. Ew. She's looking at herself. She's like, I am a queen. Look, and she's look. wiggling her, her tail like, look at that. Look at that glorious tail. She's a pretty <laughs> girl. <laughs> she is so pretty, isn't she? Look. Look. Calling someone a joke is not defamatory, Rev, at all. I don't think it is. You know, I think it's an opinion. You know, my problem is when people lie about me, not criticize me. I'm open to criticism as long as it's logical. Um, but <laughs> I'm really open to criticism if I ask for criticism. Like, what do you think I'm doing? How do you think I'm doing? I don't know where Gavin's is. He's he's being a sleepy boy. She has Kit Kat. She goes. Yes, she is. She goes. Cute. 
And that's her restless tail syndrome going on. Yeah, and not riddled with insults. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, I don't, like... That dude has some problems with suing a bunch of people. I don't know. I just, I don't know. A lot of times I think a lot of suings can be douchebaggery. Mm -hmm. It's just how I feel, man. So anyway, guys, I'm going to take off for tonight. I love you guys. Peace, Maranatha. See you tomorrow sometime. We got some adulting to do, so it may be a while. Um, but, yeah. We got some stuff to do tomorrow. Alright, I'll see you guys when I see you.